Okay, this is going to be a little quick reference on radius elbows, basically for uh, what you can get away with and what you, what you can't um, for detailing. Everything that you have in here you can, is probably pretty good for a schematic drawing, but uh, if you're trying to do an actual system that you would actually build and could efficiently build, you are limited, very limited with these um, radius elbows. So basically, you know, you put it in your auto route pretty much the same way as anything else. And, I'll just review that real quick. Um, the quickest way is just to do it on the fly. Um, you can, you've got your rectangular and your a few other choices here. You always pr pretty much want to draw it with one and a half times, um, which is a smack in the standard. Uh, if you can keep it that way, that's fine. Now, you're not always going to be able to do that. A lot of times you want to shorten those radiuses up, but you, and you're not going to be able to do it with this program. Well, there you go. So that's how you auto route them in there. Um, now we'll look real quick at at uh, what you can do with these things as far as um, manipulating them. Modify parts. Now when you come in here you've got this radius smooth which is exactly the same thing as the one and a half times the radius. Um, why that's in there I don't know and you've got uh, one times the radius and two times the radius and we'll just apply that real quick see there I don't know if you'd ever have room for that but you could if you needed it it's there and you have the one times which you could probably get away with if you uh, weren't moving a lot of air further down the line and then we go back to the one time radius. Um, up here you have a reducing elbow, which is, you know, you have some choices here. Not many, but you got a couple. Um, now this will let you change the radius. One times, one and a half times, and you can force it in there. You could actually, you know, type in it exactly what you wanted and tweak it. But the problem is, it only works um, when you change the size. So in other words, if you had an elbow that's the same in and the same out, you can't it won't let you draw it in here. And I'll just show you. 18. Yep. 18 by 34. And it's going to go berserk. And you even if you try to create a custom part size, I, I don't know why this does this and maybe I can somebody could tell me why or how I could fix it, but um it won't draw it. it just click apply and it stays the same um, but what it will do is it will make some changes for you and we'll make some changes here we'll go um, we'll do something reasonable here 14 by 30 that's not unreasonable and we'll come in here and I think with these radius changes you probably want to leave that at the, at the full radius or one times, you know, equal radius, and leave that at 12, click apply, and it gives you a change elbow. I'll click OK. Problem is, is that it center lines it. You have no way to get it flat on top or to raise it or lower it. I mean, there are situations where I may want to raise that up 7 inches so, so that I don't have to draw an offset out of that if I'm going around something. It's the beauty of uh, radius elbows, drop cheek elbow. I mean, it's very common. Um, where Autodesk gets their information when they build these parts, I don't know. Um, but it sure isn't from professionals who build them. Um, so anyways, the only way I know how to do this, and I fudge it, because um, I don't have time to mess with it. I'm not going to go in and draw one of those in solid or in another program, as I just figure out where I want that. So say I wanted it flat on top, distance, and we know it's center lined at two inches. So I just raise the duck up. Move. And it comes up. And then that way my duck is at the right height. I continue on. My tags will be the right height. And uh, of course it's going to look funny when you put it in a Navis or if you try to do any calculations it's not going to do it because it's going to find a disconnection. So, 
Um, but that's that's what it is. And if you're you know if you're like me and you trusted that uh, the Autodesk name and you bought the program and then you found out that uh, they left you behind, that's the only really option you got other than to go in and figure out how to build. I've never seen anybody. I've asked around on the uh, uh, community boards, and uh, nobody has ever successfully made a drop cheek elbow, um, at least not one that somebody wants to share. And uh, for myself, I don't get paid to, to, to build parts. Um, if I have to go in there and build all these parts, um, I can't compete. Um, it's getting hard enough now to compete with the outsourcing overseas. And uh, it's, it's, I just don't have time to do it. I mean, I've spent a lot of time trying to figure it out. And it's just not worth it. It's, it's might as well fudge it. So that's basically what you got. And, uh, you know, you've got no way to put any straight on these elbows. You know, a lot of times you want to have a, in a situation like where you have here, you know, you want to add the straight onto there so that you don't have that joint. And the only way I do that is to come in and just mark it as straight. You know, 21 inches is straight. I probably wouldn't put that much on there, but you get the picture. STRT. And, you know, and then detail my line out from there. Put some straight there and wherever else I needed it. Put my duck links on, go from there. But, uh, so that's, that's radius elbows in a nutshell. Um, they're not very efficient, and unless you uh, want to become a parts builder, spend lots of time. If you've got a big company, you dedicate a guy to doing it, you could probably get it done. Okay, now for you guys that are just detailers, and uh, you want to show, it's the same thing as this here. If you just wanted to show a regular drop cheek L, uh, of course you're not going to have the lines through here, which would kind of show it, but your elevations and you could tag it so that people would understand it, your f fabricators and whatnot. But let's say I wanted to move that down. If I wanted that drop cheek to go down, you want to go move 0, 0, 0, minus, we say 6 and enter, enter. So we were flat, nice and straight, so we're going to go down 6. We just leave it like that and then we could come in here and then we take some text from somewhere. We could just put top down six. Click OK. Rotate. Quick leader. And your fabricator knows to draw a drop cheek down six. But uh, you're not connected, obviously. Um, if a plumber or somebody wants to come by here and sneak something through there, they probably could, but um, it's just something you have to check. Um, let's see, that's about it. You know, you do the same thing if you wanted it to rise. Or, or however you wanted it. You just move this duck into place, measure your distance, and uh, tag it accordingly. You need to tag that one accordingly. And it's the only options I know. Uh, good luck.